It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh, come show up, get your shine on. So let's get right into it. Thank you for joining us here on Candy Fresh. My next guest, I'm really a super fan, like a low-key fan. My mom always tells me to make sure I'm demure, make sure I, my, my outer is not always reflecting what's the, 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 the joy that's going on on the inside. Not too much. It can't but, be mine. That's like that. <laughs> right but you are the CEO and executive producer of Soul Touch Productions, yeah. as well as the great niece of the late, great Gordon Parks. Everybody in the Candy Fresh audience, please give it up for my, my, my star, <laughs> Miss Robin Hickman. Y'all give it up. Give it up. Give it up. <laughs> now, the last time I talked to you, it was at SPNN. It was at the old school SPNN, yes. and you were talking about uh, the Gordon Parks mem mem uh, the memorial. Yes, party. the memorial. Couldn't get the word out, Miss yeah. Robin. <laughs> uh, and it's been five years since then. I can't believe it. And I remember you touching on dolls a teensy weensy bit when we were off the camera, and I want to really dig in to your doll collection because this right here, I know that they have a whole movement, like these dolls, like Brandy had an Instagram account and everything. Uh, like, so just get into what are you doing? I know it's a little bit about the loving movement. I'd rather you just explain everything to everybody. Just explain every Well, tonight yeah, it's yeah. all about a celebration of soulful dolls. I hear you. I and hear you. Um, it's just, it's their, their healing. And I still, I will not forget, um, in February 2nd, we'll bless to be having an exhibit at U Rock. Okay. Um, over North Minneapolis. Okay. And today we were meeting, I was meeting with Sister Hawana. And my cousin is in town, and we were there with her and her grandmother. And she said, well, tell the story of how it got started. And I couldn't believe that my cousin, whose daughter, 26 years ago, while visiting them in California, Nikki and I played dolls all day. And she turned to me, and she said, Cousin Robin, do you, do you have any dolls? I said, girl, I'm too old. Oh. She said, oh, Cousin Robin, you're never too old. Mm -hmm. She said, so that's when it started? That's when it started, okay. and she said, promise me when you go home that you will buy a doll. You have to play with dolls again. Mm -hmm. And I came home, went to Target, and if I could say Target, but that's where I got the doll, and found a Nigerian Barbie. And okay. that's how it started, and I had two other cousins, Aaron and Starsha, that kept coming, staying overnight for summer parties and brought out the dolls. They healed me mm -hmm. throughout my life for the last 26 years when I've needed that healing. But I love them as a little girl because I could imagine, imagine, and, and my mother taught us the importance, as you see this sister, of having the dolls that look like us. Right. So it really has become a movement, and on, on Monday I will launch, because my mother always said, Robin, I'm proud of all that you do, mm -hmm. and nobody knows me about the dolls, mm -hmm. but she said, I'm proud of all that you do, she said, but it will be your dolls where you make a mark on the world. Mm -hmm. And my dolls have traveled with me different parts of the world, and I see the impact you know, of a father on a beach in Mexico who sees a doll that looks like his daughter, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Many, many stories, but tonight it's about the celebration, and on Monday, um, on King Holiday, is my mother's birthday, and I'm launching. I'm launching all that she believed I could do on that day. So I'm excited. That's a beautiful thing. Congratulations. That's a beautiful so thing that yes. your mom brought that to you and she that you're living in that. That's beautiful. Y'all get that up for now. Oh. Come on. Get that up. Now you said you said the dolls are healing. What is healing about it? Is it just you tapping into the memories of your of a happy childhood and just getting lost in it, or the happy childhood sometimes not so happy? And when it wasn't so happy, when you can put your hands and use your imagination mm -hmm. and create a little world that may be a little bit better than yours at times. Mm -hmm. But I just love to imagine and create the power of art. The power of art to heal. Mm -hmm. This is art. I'm not a hobbyist. I'm an artist, mm -hmm. and I just claim that reality this summer when I had my first exhibit, when I went into that gallery and we, we, we hung the show, because I have framed photographs, I mean, I go into a zone and it took me over and I just said, God, how did I even have time to create all this? Um, so it it's happened. human, it happened. And so I've just really focused on taking my art to another level and just enjoying the joy that it brings to folks. And you know, even brothers in the audience are kind of like, whoa, whoa, what's that? <laughs> But I just see the power, but really in my work with girls and loving the skin I'm in and my other work, again, for girls to, to, who have never seen dolls that look like them. Right. It's very, very important. I mean, there was an experiment done over 50 years ago by Dr. Jo uh, by Dr. Uh, Kenneth Clark. Mm -hmm. uh, in a, in a, a, an experiment to, to look at that whole issue, Brown versus the Board of Education, and this experiment was used. Children, 
uh, giving a white doll, black doll, ask right, which is prettiest, right, which is right. the smartest, which is the bad doll, which right. is the, 50 years, and most of the children selected the white doll over the black doll. Mm -hmm. Done 50 years later, young filmmaker in New York, Carrie Davis, she has a film, A Girl Like Me, where she, we, she, uh, she does the experiment again with children in Harlem, identical mm -hmm. to 50 years, years prior. Right. So we have work to do. Right. This is not a play thing. Right. This is a movement to heal, mm -hmm. not even just our girls and our young people, but us. Mm -hmm. I hear that, and I, and I really like that you were showing the difference between the, the time span, how it's still it's still it's the same response. And for, to see that, now if I look like this, boy, I'm trying to be here. Oh, yeah. If this is what the dolls look like, and so I'm glad that there is an entire movement on social media and that you're really bringing this to life, especially in regards to what your mom wanted you to do. She so wanted me to do it. I wanted to first give you some credit. I had a whole okay. list of okay. things, because it was hard. <laughs> oh, stop it. everything stop that you've done. Um, I just wanted to give you a big <laughs> shout out, because first of all, I'm not sure if everyone knows. I didn't know. I'm still learning things about everything that you've done. Uh, you've had your work featured on HBO, Essence Magazine. You've been featured on Twin Cities Public Television, SPNN here. Mm -hmm. um, so with all, you're a founding member of the Minnesota African American Museum. Like the list is just, the Thank list you. is so long, Miss Riley. Blessed. Yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and y'all just give her some credit for no. that right quick. Yes, yes, oh. yes, no. Because I was going over the interview that we did and the fact that, that you were saying though it, being intentional in the work that you're doing, it's actually making a change in the kids' lives. And I think that's something that we need to applaud. I, I, I feel Thank like you. in the time that we are in, and people are feeling kind of hopeless, to that's see right. that we have soldiers in the community that are taking things that are uh, honest in their heart and they're doing things that are really helping and feeding the community, I think that's a really beautiful Thank thing. Thank you. And I think yeah. for such a time as this, we have to do it. I've said it over and over, the interview I did with you mm -hmm. five years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't like to watch my interviews, and I'm media. I've been in media and doing media since I was 12 years old, mm -hmm. and it was wonderful. Again, um, to be here, this is special, mm -hmm. you know, with Bianca, with with Essence. We have to we have to pour into one another now yeah. more than yeah. ever. Mm -hmm. We have to we just have to do it, and you know, and just bask in one another's light. I'm glad you said that. Mm -hmm. I have I actually have one last question. I know they're gonna get me for this. Um, we went to the Protect Your Crown event. You yes. showed up and you were pouring into us, as Thank you say. You. And uh, the last thing that, that stuck with me since then is, as women, you were so impressed with us as women that we were basking in each other's light. Yes. And you said often we're found uh, putting out each other's light. And my question to you is, help some of us. You're helping us women love our skin with this. How can you help us? Give us some tips going forward into 2017. How can women love on each other more and understand each other more? We all come from different walks of life. We all got this different baggage that we're bringing to each other. So it's hard to notice the light, but please bestow some wisdom on us. Right. How can we bask in each other's light more? Do your, <clears throat> excuse me, do your self work first. Mm. You gotta learn to love the skin you're in. When you love the skin you're in, you can't help to love up others. That's just the bottom line. And, in, and find that still time. So for me, when I pull away and I create, you know, this sister's honoring women. I mean, my girl here is honoring Maria Issa. There's, uh, you know, here's Sheila Yee. This is my mama. Uh, who here's my mama right <laughs> here. You know, and sister, yeah, M Nichelle Nichols, who we have hidden figures now, you know. Right, right. But the dolls are not. It's like, so if you start, if you get a doll and just sit down by yourself and, and see the beauty in that doll and then find the beauty in yourself. It, but we have to do it. I can't love you if I don't love I myself. I love myself. Okay, my, the producers right. is, is cutting us off, okay. Miss Robin. I had so many more questions. We'll do it another day. All right, right y'all stay tuned. We got more Candy Fresh coming up right after this. It's that Candy Fresh, got the new now next. If you were those artists in the city, come on and get your shot.